The great benefit of saving snapshots of your project information, so previous states of the, the cost plan, is that you can always go back at any point in time to see what the differences are uh, of the current cost plan with the previous status. You can do that using the compare and update function uh, and also using the report editor and I will show both ways uh, during this video. In this video I will use the cost plan versions that we created in the previous video in the compare and update view as well as in the in the variance report uh, to see where the differences exist between a version 1 and a version 2. So with the versions created, uh, and I can again check which versions exist in, uh, in my project by opening the Manage Cost Plan Versions, um, I'm going into the Compare and Update view. And what I would like to do is compare the differences between costs and quantities uh, between the current status and uh, a previously saved snapshot or version. So the comparison preset that I want to use for that is cost and takeoff, which has cost information as well as quantity information. And then I set up a comparison. And the comparison dialog, set up a comparison dialog, will contain the list of projects that I have uh, on my Vico Office project server that I'm connected to, as well as project snapshots, and that's what you see here. And those are the versions that I created earlier. Zero is always the uh, uh, the, uh, the, the current version and then I had a version 1 and a version 2 I want to compare against version 1 click OK and that runs the comparison and then by expanding these nodes I can see where the differences are and as you can see there's a difference in the quantity uh, it was parent quantity as a formula and I changed that into parent quantity multiplied by 1.1 I can scroll down the list uh, to see where other differences are and I see that here is the, uh, the difference in the cost per unit. It was 50. It is now 60 for the uh, formwork carpenter. Uh, but alternatively I can also isolate the differences and that helps me to quickly jump to the places in the, in the cost plan where changes exist. Alternatively I can use the uh, report editor uh, to, to generate an overview of uh, changes in quantities and, uh, and cost. And for that, I need to start the Create Reports workflow item. So in the Report or Create Reports view, I'm going to use the Cost and Quantity Variance Report uh, that you can download from this website. And in order to generate that report, I right click and select generate or I just select that item and click generate report in the ribbon and that shows the parameters that I can enter in order to uh, to create this report there's a left version parameter and a right version parameter and on the left side I would like to see the baseline version and on the right side I would like to see the adjusted version one that we created earlier then I click submit and the report is uh, is created and that shows uh, for each of the uh, cost categories what the quantity difference is and what the price difference is uh, so as a result of the changes that I made uh, the difference uh, for substructure is as we can see a total of uh, $7,857 and the quantity change that we made over here is 112 uh, so that's the, the change in, in the formula that we made. Uh, so this is a uh, quick way to, to generate an output uh, to show where quantities exist going from one project phase to the next phase. In this video I started to use the cost plan versions that I created in the previous video and I did that in the first in the compare and update view where I compared the current version uh, to one of the saved snapshots and then in uh, the second part of this video I generated a variance report in which I could select the two versions that I wanted to compare. And that gives me great input to analyze where differences, where variance exist in my project. 